not a game, it's a rich thing. Did ancient Romans reach the Americas long before Columbus? Ellen Lloyd, AncientPages.com, long before the arrival of Christopher Columbus 1451 to 1506, North and South America had been visited by other ancient civilizations. It is well known that Christopher Columbus did not discover the New World in 1492. Still, many researchers suggest among these first visitors were the Vikings, Chinese, Phoenicians, and probably the Celts. There is evidence that numerous other ancient civilizations visited the Americas long before Columbus accidentally stumbled upon the New World that was already inhabited did ancient Romans also cross the ocean and reach the shores of America some 2,000 years before Christopher Columbus. Many ancient Roman coins have been unearthed in North America, but it is not easy to regard these artifacts as evidence of pre-Columbian transoceanic contact. These ancient coins could have been carried by the Spaniards who came with Columbus. However, while exploring this theory, one should investigate other curious artifacts that point to the ancient Roman presence in the Americas. Does the Tecoxic Kalishluwaka head offer evidence of pre-Columbian transoceanic contact? One of the most trustworthy artifacts of ancient Roman presence in the Americas is the small Tecoxic Kalishluwaka head of supposed Roman origin found in Mexico back in 1933. In 1933, archaeologist Jose Garcia Pajan discovered a small head with foreign features in a burial at Kalishluwaka, about 60 kilometers west of Mexico City in the Toluca Valley. Kalishlawaka is one of the very few Aztec-related urban sites of which architecture and stone sculpture survived until today. This was a site where the Aztecs worshipped the snake bird god Ejicatl. The burial was under two undisturbed cemented floors that antedated the destruction of Kalishlawaka by the Aztecs in AD 1510. Garcia Pihin identified numerous cultural pieces found with the head belonging to the Azteco Matlat Sinca period of 1476 to 1510. Cortes did not land at Veracruz until 1519 and did not conquer the Aztecs until 1521, so central Mexico was still pre-Hispanic in 1510. In 1961, the Austrian anthropologist Robert Heine Geldern examined the head and declared that it arrived unquestionably from the Hellenistic Roman school of art. He found that its distinctive naturalism suggested a date around AD 200. Heine Geldern was an expert on Southeast Asia, but he reported in a communication quoted by Garcia Pay in 1961 that his view that Roman from circa AD 200 had been confirmed by Professor Boringer then president of the German Archaeological Institute. The head was then largely forgotten until 1990 when archaeology student Romeo Ristoff began searching for it. Two and a half years later, he located it in storage in the National Museum of Anthropology in Mexico City, misclassified as colonial. In an interview in one of the leading Italian newspapers prompted by the Ristoff and Genovese paper, Professor Bernard Andrea, the current director of the German Archaeological Institute in Rome, gave his opinion of the head, it is Roman without any doubt. The stylistic examination tells us, more precisely, that it is a Roman work of the second century after Christ. It presents, in the cut of the hair and the shape of the beard traits typical of the Severian emperors, exactly the fashion of the period. The four Schungs tell archaeometry at the Max Planck Institute for Kernphysik in Heidelberg, Germany, has performed a thermoluminescence TL test on material from the head to determine the time that has elapsed since its manufacture. Technical difficulties prevented the determination of a precise TOL date but the lab did conclude that the figurine has an apparent TL age range of between 730 years and 2880 years. Head from Kalislaak, 1999. Photo credit, Romeo Ristoff So, it seems that the mysterious Tecoxic Kalislaak head could be considered one of the best pieces of evidence for ancient transoceanic contact. Columbus was by no means the first to visit the continent. 
However, it should be added the controversial Tecoxic Kalishlawaka head has been questioned by many scientists who state it is a fake. Some have also dismissed the possibility the head of is of ancient Roman origin and suggest this artifact is evidence of Norse presence in the Americas. It has occasionally been proposed the figure's unusual headdress bears a possible resemblance to Norse or Viking headgear. Why is America depicted on ancient Roman maps? Author and researcher Carl Lehrberger investigated which ancient civilizations reached the Americas before Columbus and noted that ancient Romans were familiar with the Americas, as can be seen on their maps. In his book Secrets of Ancient America, Archaeoastronomy and the Legacy of the Phoenicians, Celts, and Other Forgotten Explorers, Lehrberger points out that other writers have provided evidence that Roman ships traveled to India, China, and Southeast Asia. Unknown to many, however, is the abundant evidence proving they also made it to North and South American shores. As mentioned, Roman era maps show Antipodes as South America along with the Gulf of Mexico, Florida, and Brazil. Also, the 1414 map of Alberton de Verga shows the Peruvian coast and calls it C.A. Peru, which is the same as the land of Per on the 1436 Andrea Bianco map, demonstrating that Peru was named earlier than Pizarro's arrival in 1521. Other ancient Roman artifacts discovered in North and South America Several curious ancient artifacts linked to the Roman Empire have been unearthed in the Americas. But these objects have never gained much publicity, probably due to their controversial nature. Among these artifacts we find inscriptions, coins, and many ceramic amphorae, vase-like storage jars that were recovered off the coasts of North and South America. David Pratt, who authored The Ancient America's Migrations, Contacts, and Atlantis, reported that amphorae from the 1st century AD were discovered off the coast of Maine in 1971 and 1972. Pratt also noted that in 1972, scuba divers off the coast of Honduras found the hull of a ship with a cargo of Roman amphorae. More amphorae were discovered in South America off the coast of Venezuela and 15 miles off the coast of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil in 1976.